Meena, uh, what stood out for me, no change in stance to my mind, that's the headline. Uh, CPI inflation seen at 5.4% for FY25, 4.5% in FY25, and mentioning that the job is not finished because need to be vigilant on new supply shocks. And, well, interestingly, uh, large mention on debt sustainability for the world at large and how it could become a new source of stress for the world. I mean, in an EM central bank talking about the message for the world. And real GDP growth, 7.3% FY24, 7% FY25, which would make it the fourth consecutive year of growth of 7% or above. Right, and also Neeraj, uh, they were pretty explicit in stating that they are managing liquidity in a pseudo manner any which way. So after September, and that's what the governor indicated, that system liquidity had turned into a deficit after a four and a half year gap, which we've actually seen and witnessed over the last couple of months. But after adjusting for government cash balances, potential liquidity in the banking system is still in a surplus. And that's what the governor said. They've also said they're nimble footed and they will manage liquidity with repo and reverse repo. So uh, the pseudo balancing of liquidity still remains the only way to manage liquidity. Uh, their growth targets have, of course, been in line with what the NSO has said. FI25, the estimate is 7% for F524 stands at 7.3%. Inflation, I'll just quickly break those numbers down for you so you have some perspective on uh, what it is. Uh, but of course, uh, inflation as well is an unfinished task, is what uh, the governor said. Neeraj Gambhir, Group Executive, Treasury Markets of Axis Bank, uh, and M. Kamako, the CEO of City Union Bank, joins in. Neeraj, I'll start with you first. Uh, are you surprised? Uh, no change in policy, no change in stance, and no major announcements on managing liquidity either. What did you make of these comments? In line, you think, or there's a little bit of surprise because while they talked about managing liquidity, they've largely said that they've been doing it and they're nimble-footed and will do what it takes, when it takes. Uh, thanks for having me on the show. Uh, I think it's broadly on the expected lines, uh, both on growth and inflation. In fact, I was a little bit positively surprised by, by the uh, sort of... Uh, assurance or, you know, uh, in some senses, the uh, confidence that the RBI governor has on 7% growth for next year. Our own estimates are for a little lower, say about 6.5%. Nevertheless, it still continues to be uh, another, or it will most likely be another year of very strong, uh, you know, economic growth. And uh, hence the, the sort of, uh, I would say, reflection on the fact as to how fast you need to adjust rates. <clears throat> On liquidity, yes, we have seen Reserve Bank uh, pretty active in the markets. We have seen over the last week itself uh, multiple, you know, repo and reverse repo auctions being done to make sure that the system liquidity stays. What the governor has said is not a new new, new uh, information. We all know that uh, there is a very large uh, government balance that sits there, which is causing this frictional liquidity in the banking system. The challenge is that this frictional liquidity uh, shortage in the banking system is causing the short-term rates to actually spike up quite sharply. We've seen three-month CD rates go up to as high as 7.8%, uh, and that is obviously impacting on the cost of funds for the banks. So I think I'm hoping that with this renewed set of assurances that the government, government has given, uh, there will be some cooling off of these short-term rates. And I think he pointed out towards the fact that there has been some volatility in the short-term money market rates. So I think that's the key thing. Uh, if the uh, overnight rates settle towards 6.5% and the short-term money market rates start cooling down, <clears throat> then I think this, this policy would have achieved uh, what we would have liked to see in the policy. Mm. Uh, Mr. Kamakori, did no change in stance surprise you or are you in, are you in uh, sync with what Neeraj Gambhir just mentioned? Yeah, uh, just to add uh, what Mr. Gambit said, uh, uh, you also heard a statement which clearly said that uh, uh, probably from the uh, earlier, uh, uh, like say, uh, uh, policy announcement, Chandal, you had uh, uh, more discussion on the Arjuna Sai on the uh, inflation, and now it is uh, it has been clearly spelled that uh, like say uh, the things will be now uh, uh, economy will be now getting ready for the growth and all sort of uh, uh, like say other uh, actions will start and all. So it is definitely a little bit, uh, uh, we are positively surprised that uh, probably happening uh, uh, like uh, two months earlier. Probably we are expecting this uh, in the, maybe in the uh, next policy, but uh, a good that uh, uh, the, uh, the support for growth will be more from uh, uh, where we are now. That's a, a positive point here. All yeah. other uh, on rates and all are uh, like uh, unexpected lines. Neeraj, I know while we are focusing on a whole bunch of global queues and, you know, the FISC 